Preparing to delve in three, two, one. Welcome to another episode of Master Delve Theater. I remain Citanium, and I cannot seem to stop doing this voice. Today we conclude Operation Santa Drop with our third and final installment. Aurora, Luth, and Snowball approach the bridge, and whatever sinister forces have sabotaged Santa's submersible, who could be behind it all? Will the party use the power of Christmas and fire to save Santa? Find out now with this bacon-filled episode. Yes, you heard me. So much bacon. And not Kevin Bacon. Actual bacon. Enjoy. You enter a small industrial-looking room. It looks like a candy kitchen. A machine sits in the room, idly waiting instructions for from a panel. Way too complicated for you to understand. Elves are really smart. But there are three small bags to carry candies in. So this is a loot room. You guys can choose 20 candies. They are licorice whips, red hots, mints, marshmallows, snickers, chocolates, and gummy bears. And you can choose 20 of them. And each of them will have an effect in battle. Are the gummy bears actually moving? No. Because there is <laughs> the not fish, fish that... Well, even so, I think gummy I gotta bears. take 20 gummy bears. Like, okay. i take my 20 gummy bears. So 20 gummy bears for... Nathan, I assume you wrote that down. Oh, I did. DC, what do you want? I'll take the marshmallows. Twenty marshmallows. You can get a mix of things if you decide. If you don't just want marshmallows, we'll take what ten marshmallows and ten red hot. Ten marshmallows and ten red hots. They are licorice whips, red hots, mints, marshmallows, Snickers, chocolate bars, and gummy bears. I'm going for the candy assortment. A little of everything. Two of each and. One more of everything but Red Hots and the chocolate bars. Okay. That will be 19. I'll take another gummy bear. Okay. And then four gummy bears? Mm Mm-hmm. All right. Good. Written down. You see a a open door um, behind the machine. You can probably go through it to the next room. I'm liking that door that I just saw. Want to go through it? Well, whenever you are presented with the door, you should always consider going through it. Mm -hmm. At least once. Yeah, you should. Perfect. (laughs) Slowly, you move into a new area, pushing open an old wooden door. The walls are papered green with snowflakes, and spruce joists line the ceiling. A monitor sits against one wall surrounded by stone brick, and an image of a warm fire crackles merrily on it. In one corner of the room is a table, upon which sits an old-timey record player. Christmas carols float softly among the room, and next to the table are some shelves lined with vinyl. In the center of the room is a warm plush chair made of dark wood and green cloth. On one side is a big box from which spills a long piece of cream parchment. On the other side is a small stand on which rests a plate of sugar cookies and a glass of white foaming liquid. On one wall there are a few bookshelves lined with leather bindings of all colors and guarded by glass doors. On the other is a dresser lined with intricate beautiful figurines and ornaments, each handsome, each handmade. Clearly this is the big man's room, but where could Santa be? There are no other obvious exits to the room other than the one you came back through. And turning to um, try it, you find it locked. You're stuck in here until you can find another way out. I will make a perception roll. Okay, that'd be a d20 plus 4. Okay, so that ends up being 11. Okay, you notice that the bookshelves and the dresser are all locked. You can't get into them. Does anyone else want to make an action? Uh, yeah, I'll take a look around too. Okay, I think you also get a plus 4, but let me double check. I apologize, my throat is a little raw, raw tonight. That's all right. Okay, you get a plus 2 to that. Okay, so nine. You see that most of the vinyl um, records on the walls are a collection of different songs from the big band era. So, like, um, Glenn Miller, Frank Sinatra, stuff like that. I'm coming back to work for Santa after we find him. (laughs) (laughs) There's plush animals and big band music. This is awesome. (laughs) He's a real guy. Yeah, he really is. He's a renaissance man. Um, Does someone else want to investigate the room? Uh, I will. Okay. I have trap finding, so I want to make sure nothing will okay. jump out and try to attack us. The milk is a bomb! Just kidding. There's no explosions, <laughs> in the, and there's no explosions in these areas. Oh, good. Yet. I got a 24. Ooh. So, 
You discover a small button hidden underneath the stand of milk and cookies. Will you press it? Anybody else have an opinion on this? I think you should press it. But don't mind me, I'm just the um, game master. Well, when life presents you with a button... You should press it. You should probably <laughs> press it. Yes, deductive yeah. reasoning. <laughs> Being what it is. We need All to do right. this more often. <laughs> this is a nice little group we have going here. <laughs> I love it. So much. All right, so I assume you press the button. Yeah, I hit the button. The monitor with the flickering flame on it changes to a password screen, and a keyboard slides in place underneath the chair. Oh, on the chair, excuse me, not underneath it. How flammable <laughs> is this room? <laughs> Extremely <laughs> flammable. <laughs> if you ignite it, you will all die. I love how hard you are trying to circumvent all these puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gave me a bag of tricks, and now I need to figure out how to creatively use them. Okay. Uh, just as a side note, those were all intended for the fights that have been skipped because of time constraints. Oh, okay. What? Oh, yeah. if I put the seven cookies out, will Santa come? <laughs> Ooh. What, what kind of cookies are they? Um, I don't know. Oatmeal raisin. They're oatmeal raisin. They're healthy cookies. Oh. They make you feel better when you eat them. I'm, I'm just going to put the seven cookies out on the desk. Okay. And just see what happens. Nothing happens. Well, more cookies for me. And I eat all seven of the cookies. You're going to eat all seven of the cookies? Hey. <laughs> Sorry, would you like some of these cookies while we're in it? They're, they're oatmeal raisin. I'm good. That's a shame, yeah. because does anyone else want to eat cookies? Uh, sure, I'll eat a cookie. Okay, I'll take a cookie. Each one of you eats a cookie, and you discover that they're healing cookies. They'll heal you for a three-fifths of a wound if you eat them. But since your health is all full, it's useless. Oh. So you wasted three cookies. Perfect. Can I roll to see if they were delicious? Right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I got a 12. Were they any good? They were pretty decent. Oh, you okay, know. good. Okay, Those great. are pretty decent bakers down here. Oh, perfect. Great. I guess it's up there, but... And now we have four cookies. So do you guys want to investigate anything? The parchment, the bookshelves, the chair? I'll go look at the bookshelves. I was going to look at the parchment. Okay. Would you both roll d20? 19. 17. Okay. You can see behind one of the bookshelves is a book marked Words Take Flight. It seems really interesting, and you'd like to take a, look at, a closer look at it, but it's locked, so you can't get into it right now. And that glass is bulletproof. You won't be able to break it. Not even with those high-speed sp speed, spud potatoes. Sp high-speed <laughs> spuds. I can't speak. A study of the parchment shows it to be the list. There's a variety of names on here, including the parties, and often marked either naughty or nice, except for one. Candy cane. It's circled in red ink. Candy cane. Spelled C-A-I-N. Hey, look at this. Someone's not been doing good. Someone's what? getting coal in their stocking this year. Since it's bringing them a wedgie. Do you think if we put these cookies <laughs> in there talking instead of the coal that it would solve the problem? I'm not sure. If I sprinkle the flying no. dust on the book, who, who do you think this candy cane fellow is? Does someone want to make an insight check or something along those lines? Yeah, I'll make a, a sure. logic check. Uh, okay, I'll, a logic I'll, check, I'll, insight check. Yeah. Both of you roll a d20. Yeah. I think D C gets a plus six, and Nathan gets a plus four. A perception check is also useful here. I got fifteen, and I Sixteen. would have gotten a twenty. Sixteen plus four. So. Okay. Do you think maybe the name has something to do with the password, since it's so it's standing out? You also notice that um, Nathan, your name says check twice. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been up to, Nathan? Have you been? Naughty I know what you did I last I, Tuesday. I, I, <laughs> Wait, is there a pen around here? We need to make some modifications. <laughs> there are no pens. There are no pens? If you find a pen, I make you drop it. <laughs> he can't even pick it up. He doesn't have hands. <laughs> this is true. You know what? I'll just, leave the, I'll just leave the hand mirror next to the book, so every time he looks at my name, there's going to be a screaming hand mirror <laughs> looking back at me. Well, it doesn't scream anymore. It whines. It goes, ee. Close That's enough. True. That hand mirror is not getting any cookies. Let me tell you that much. It's on the okay. naughty list for life. So it has something. The name is related to the password. And you said Kane was C-A-I-N? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to say it now. That has nothing to do with the password. That's just an alternate spelling because I didn't want it to be too obvious that it was Candy Kane, which James spoiled. Oh, it's like the candy. That looks like a cane. Oh, how? No, oh, I get it now. Can okay. I do a perception check? Yes, yeah, you can. Go for it. 
I got a nine. You notice that there are the beautiful figures on the um drawers. The drawers. They can. There's a bunch of handmade intricate figurines. Um, some nutcrackers, some ballerinas. You, you um, notice three ballerinas that look like they're important. And there's a bunch of cookie jars on there too, because Santa likes cookies. I'm gonna take all the cookies from the cookie jar because maybe they're healing cookies too. <laughs> <laughs> they are not. There's several varieties. White chocolate macadamia nut, butterscotches, um, chocolate chip. How how many can I hold at Will you make time? a perception check? Will you make a perception check for me, please? Yes, 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 yes. 11 in my modifier, I think. You got a 15. Four. Okay, a 15. Okay. Those butterscotches are really important. No, no, no. no go to the back! The back? Of the, 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 the section. There. Read. Yeah. Oh. Ignore what he said. It doesn't matter. It's not important. Butterscotch important. Uh, is this the loot? Yes, loot section. There's also a small switch in the bottom of one of the jars that can be found with a simple check. Flicking. Yeah, that's that's the check. He made the check. Yeah, flicking it opens ah. the bookcases. <gasps> oh hey, look at that. So now you can grab words, take flight. I go uh, over and do that. Huzzah! So now I have a book. I start reading it. And there's actually no words in it. Instead, there's a bunch of illustrations of. More books, and they seem to be moving. Do I start rearranging the bookshelves? No. So it's like open books that are within it. It's not like the bookshelves itself, but they're open books within this book, and they are moving around. Yeah, they look like they're flying. I'm going to prod you in the right direction here. Pet, um, candy cane is the key to what you need to advance this puzzle forward. But that's not the password itself. It has something to do with a candy cane. Yes. Is there a book? That's like red and white striped or is named Candy Cane. Nope. I'm going to look at the record player. Is there a record in it? There is a record player in it. It's softly playing Christmas music. Yep. It is a Frank Sinatra Christmas. Oh, nice. Oh, perfect. I mean, to the <laughs> do, 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 do. That's not Christmas, but I just enjoy that song. <laughs> <laughs> Very good song. Okay, I'll give you a big prod. What flavor is candy cane? Bacon. <laughs> I would love bacon. Never. That's a that thing for the right. for the rec- for the record. There is such a thing as a bacon candy cane. Is this like the my... tax collector? Shut up and take my money. No, I no. Okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna find it for you, and I'm gonna put it in the chat so that you know that it is literally <laughs> legitimately a thing. This and pickles. <laughs> So, what is traditionally the flavor of a candy cane? Mint. Kind of mint. Peppermint. Yes. Tyler, I think you made this puzzle too. That might have been the one section. Anyone want to do something with peppermint? Or the word peppermint or something? Does it come in a patty? (laughs) Peppermint. Making candy canes. Oh my god, it's just... There you go. That sounds disgusting. Oh, wow. It's a real thing. That sounds really disgusting. (laughs) Well, I can buy it now. (laughs) Only six bucks for sure. I love candy canes. That's a bit... Wow. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Order oh, yeah. now, and you'll receive your free copy of... I can give you something <laughs> worse, don't worry. Just <laughs> oh. keep keep talking amongst yourself. Is this okay. going to be a bacon right. cover donut? Uh, no, this... But... I was trying to bacon flavored chapstick, but... Ugh. All right, so... Oh, there's so many ba- bacon. So let's move on from the topic of bacon to the puzzle. <laughs> Well, because while I do enjoy bacon, I also enjoy this puzzle. I think the puzzle trumps right now. No, that does. Oh, wow. <laughs> no. Just I would eat that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pickle. I is would pickle, eat that. Is a pickle candy cane anything that I need to know about for this puzzle? Can I roll it? <laughs> can I, can no. I, no. No? No? Oh, no, there are no candy man. canes in this puzzle. <laughs> but I thought you just we said were... there were candy canes. <laughs> the, pepper, the peppermint. The peppermint pickle? Password. Password. Can I, can I look for... So around, I'll put around, peppermint in as the password. Okay. okay. Peppermint. It pops up like a screen. Uh, like a computer screen. Um, showing um, an exit under Santa's chair, although you have no way to access it. There's several files on the computer. They're all um, text files. Okay, let's look at them. Most of them are of no importance. They're like Santa's notes and stuff. Um, but flight yeah. schedule and stuff. Is there, but there are two that stand out. One that says, I like all kinds of sweets, but nothing beats Mrs. Claus's butterscotchies. It occurs right. to me that and I have some butterscotch cookies. The other one says, it's outstretched 40. No, here. I got it. 
I'm, I'm gonna type in the chat. But basically, it's a line with an angled line. It looks like an obtuse angle with a 40 next to it. A, a circle with 235 next to it. And then a V shape with a 170 next to it. Okay. Perception okay. checks are welcome. And Dude. and necessary. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. With my what did I tell you about making the puzzle less complicated? <laughs> this was supposed to be the last puzzle, so it's supposed to be a little bit hard. Well, you succeeded. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> with my modifier, that would end up being nineteen. Oh wow! So it has something to do with the ballerinas. One that looks like. So um, if you investigate the ballerinas on the um drawers, um, one looks like it's getting ready to make a leap. The other one has its hands out in a circle. What's that called? Um, oh, plie. First plie. The, the plie. Uh, yes. Um, and or the first position, and then the other one has its hands out, uh, and it's slightly upward, or it's like arms shape in the shape of like a bird's wings or something like that. It kind of looks like it's an uh, obtuse angle. Oh. No, it kind of looks like a V. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I'm seeing the symbols. At the front of each of those look kind of similar to those positions. So you have the V, and you have an O, and you have kind of like the, looks like the leg in the air next yeah. to the 40. You okay. also notice that they turn. Do we need to turn them? To the degrees? You can try. All right, I'll, I'll try. Okay, so you so using the direction that they were facing originally as their... As the zero position, you turn the first one to gotcha. 40 degrees, the second one to 235 degrees, and the third one to 170 degrees? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Cool. You hear a click. Perfect. And they all sink into the table and can, the desk and can no longer be moved. Well. Oh, something happened. Yes. We watched the least interesting version of Nutcracker that I've ever seen. <laughs> 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 this was a community performance of fun. <laughs> I will give you one more hint. The plate is probably useful in some form. Do you need to put butterscotches on the plate? Maybe. Maybe not. I'm Maybe it makes that. everything explode. There's no explosion. No, you said you said no explosions. <laughs> I said no explosion. I said no explosion. One GM always tells the truth, the other one always lies. Guess which one? <laughs> this is the big puzzle for the evening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting butterscotchies on the plate. You're putting butterscotchies on the plate. The molecular an- analyzer pops up from the plate and examines the butterscotchies. Finding them acceptable, it pops back down because they were specifically <laughs> vacant balls. Exactly what she had. Yes. Oh my goodness. Exactly. I'm going to have nightmares tonight. Yeah. Oh. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> That's what you get. Anyways, the chair slides it down and reveals a metal tunnel, which leads to the bridge. Dun, dun, da. All right. Oh, and All right. just as a reminder, you still have Thomas and Amarillo with you. Yep. Perfect. Yep, 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 yep. And last I heard, I was still holding Amarillo. Yes. He snuggled up to you. <laughs> and he's probably sleeping. It's hard to tell, though. The stuffed animals don't really close their eyes. Okay, so let's go through the door. You go through the door. You enter into the bridge, which has a globe on it covered in lights. And open up my number generator because I don't feel like getting my dice out. Um, Fair enough. You drop down the tunnel, do a barrel roll. So you do that, and you see a furry green man, a robot dog, and a dude in a mech standing there. Blue. He's the man in the the mech is blue. How flammable do they look? <laughs> it all streaks of evil. <laughs> the green they guy. Give me a Molotov cocktail. <laughs> This is a space where you will not all die if you use the cocktail. <laughs> oh, okay. Perfect. The green guy looks like he's very flammable. He looks like he hasn't taken a bath in about a week. They're whispering to each other. You um, turn and look at them. I mean, excuse me. They turn and look at you, and they go, Rat! The inside is here. Or, not they. The furry guy. He sounds crunchy. Wonder how it is. <laughs> hmm. And, I wonder. And the other guy says in a bad German accent. Yes, it seems that we have. And I'm sorry if I'm offending anybody, but I'm German, so I'm really making fun of myself. <laughs> That's a great way of putting that. We must deal with them quickly. I sound like I'm from Transylvania. <laughs> we must deal with them quickly, so that we can um, continue with our plan to destroy Christmas once and for all. They uh, they ready themselves for the attack. Oh no, Jim, Jim Carrey and Mike Myers are coming after yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> we must, 
This is the worst SNL Christmas special ever. Um, okay. <laughs> um, actually, it's round five because you guys have do have Thomas and Amario, and you also have the book. We yeah, have the yeah. book. The book and the bear. So, if in case it wasn't clear, it was Grinch and his um, it, it's the Grinch and his um, his uh, cyborg, his cyborg dog Max, and his oh. sidekick Mr. Freeze. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I'm getting that now. All right. Yeah, so that probably wasn't very clear because I don't think he actually has a German accent. Well, it depends what version of uh, oh the Schwarzenegger yeah, version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which movie? I'll be back. Which movie are you watching? <laughs> which television show or movie are you watching? Okay, All the seventies. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! Not that, not that version. All right, cool. Na, 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 Batman. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's a fight. It's cool. It's a fight. Yay! You have to jump on them though, which means you get to react first. Perfect. Um, so they're very flammable. One is. <laughs> One is okay. Um, and, uh, I just looked up it up. Mister Freeze would probably take some heat, serious heat damage too. He'd melt. He'd melt. Kind of. Bit. His lower legs are frozen to like basically absolute zero. Oh, okay. So if you thawed him out, it'd probably hurt a lot. Oh, I'll, 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 okay. Well, in that case, I guess snowballs. Uh, one thing that he's going to do is, I guess he's going to chuck the Molotov cocktail in their direction and yell, Viva la revolution! <laughs> finally, after two hours. <laughs> after two hours, the... I finally get to use the Molotov cocktail. Just like I always planned. Okay, what do you make a d20? Okay. I and... pray you don't get a one. Uh, oh. no, I got a 17. I don't know if I have a modifier on that or not, but... Uh, you don't, because it's a bomb attack, and you don't have any bonuses to that. Fair enough. So, um, 17. But you... You hit um, the Grinch, and he's on fire. Perfect. Improvement. <laughs> and it takes about three-fifths of a one. I consider that an improvement. Snake attack? Um, yes, you can do that. Because technically he's being flanked by the explosion. The Grinch is. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was. Well, I got an 18. Oh, plus 16. Yeah. So. <sighs> <laughs> Wait, who are you? Did you attack the Grinch? Yes. Because he's flanked. So a 16 plus an 18? Mine explosion. Um, bad. <laughs> oh, he actually handled that okay. He only takes another wound, another wound and a half on top. Mm -hmm. Only a wound and a half. Oh, man. Wound and a half. I'm kind of scared for the other guy. Basically two wounds, so. You were focused on the Grinch guy right now. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, by the way, because you're so close to the Grinch, um, he has this horrible aura that surrounds him because he hasn't showered in a week. So <laughs> you're you're now um, rushing and gagging, and he doesn't think that one th through very well. Amario and Thomas are not mm. rushing and gagging, though. That's yeah, true. they're okay. All right. So the animals, these... they can't smell anything. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try a red hot. Okay. You consume a red hot and feel the power of dragons um, building up inside you. The power you of determination in dragons. Yes. You open your mouth and suddenly a burst, a cone of flame erupts from it. All right, can I, can I aim uh, that at the Mr. Freeze guy? Yes, you can. I, I rolled a 20. Natural 20. A natural 20, did you say? Yep. This, that's like the... So now you get out your awesome luck, huh? <laughs> right as we reach the boss fight. Good job. Hey, if you're going to get it at any time, <laughs> now is the time. You just need to not die up to that point. Yes. Which... Also important. What's uh, Max doing? Nothing yet. Okay, so I, I breathe fire yeah. on them. Main body, heat explosion core, frost cannon, and then the um, claw arm. Those are the four locations you can target. And those are all on the different people, not all on one? That Those are all on Mr. Freeze. Okay, let's get rid of that cannon. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah I turn on airplane mode for a second. <laughs> oh. oh my! Oh, that, that explains might so us. much. We're already out of it. the plane. That was like four <laughs> scenes ago. Yeah. Thunderstruck's already over. Okay. So which one are you targeting again? The, the, the frost cannon. Frost, frost right. cannon. Yes. Yep. Okay, it's to completely destroyed. It's rendered right. completely useless. And you also managed to get a hit on Max, who takes some damage. Not very much, but enough. Okay. Cool. So while this is all happening, Thomas trumpets with his horn... Um, with his um, nose, and there's this ringing sound that runs throughout the room. The Grinch is visibly dazed now. He looks all around confused, like, what's going on? 
And then Amarillo, he raises one little paw from uh, Aurora's um, arms, and he shoots out a little beam of, a little cone of light from his hand. But it, and it washes over everybody, but it doesn't really do anything. Except warms our hearts. So they have magic powers. Yeah. Yep, the, the stuffed animals have magic powers, just so you know. Okay, yeah. it's the enemy's turn. So Mr. Freeze is irritated. He's coming in, and he, he slaps at DC. Um, you'll need to make a defense check. Okay, and that's the 4d6? Yes. Or is that the d20? Oh, the d20. Okay. Get a plus uh, bonus to this. Oh, then that's a 19. Okay. You just barely managed to resist the attack. And he's not able to grapple you, which is really good. Because he would have grabbed you and lifted you up. The Grinch, his hands are clawed, and so he swipes in at Aurora. So a d20. Okay. Actually, two d20s, because he does it twice. 16, 13. You have a bonus, I think. A high bonus. Yeah, he, um, his attacks um, don't do anything. They um, bounce off the little armor that you have. Okay. And then the robot dog jumps out and attacks uh, Nathan. So. This is what I've been waiting for. Dog v. Unicorn. <laughs> I get... Fight. Uh, I get a, a 14. I'm not sure what I, what I would have for a modifier, but... For a modifier, you get a... I think you get a plus 5. So you get a 19. Sure. I'll take it. You block the damage just barely with your horn. You're basically, like, holding his mouth open with your horn. Oh, perfect. Okay, it's y'all's action now. Can I reprimand the dog? You're welcome <laughs> to. Not, not as an action, but just like generally kind of going, You are a very rude robot dog. You can talk while you make an action. Bad dog. Bad. You go Sit, to your stay. Room. Yes. Roll over. <laughs> play dead. Yes. Actually. I would actually prefer that you play dead. We're going to try to make that happen. Make a, make a check. Okay. And a, a check. A 20. Um, so 20. Um, he seems mildly confused. Like, he thinks he should be obeying, but part of him says no, don't. Oh, his <clears> logic <throat> circuits are just malfunctioning. Yes. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay, actions for the party. By the way, you have all your uses back, so you get all three of your um, acid splashes back. I was wondering if I could try to convince Max to be on our side. I have diplomacy, and I don't know if the stuffed animals do anything. Uh, it's worth a shot. Tyler, did the stuffed animals have any bonuses? No. No, can't give her any bonuses. Okay. okay. So you'll just get your dipl- plus four to diplomacy. We're so going to try Whoville tactics. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Max. So, that would be... He's a very large horn tied to the top of his head, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> no. This is the, is the unicorn. The one. And the bonus... Oh, have you yeah. nat twentyed? Oh, so the bonus doesn't matter. Max looks at you, sits, pants, then turns around and growls at the Grinch, who is now deeply concerned. You're controlling Max now. Oh. Yay! Yay! Oh my goodness, yeah. he's strong. <laughs> he's, pretty, he's a buff boy. Wahoo okay. So, Lord. okay, he's not. Uh... <laughs> 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 the Grinch's oh, heart exploded three th- times si- the normal size <laughs> out of fear that the dog was going to destroy him. His heart didn't get bigger, it shrunk and quaked in fear. And it's a real problem. He can't see the doctor. Sure he knew now that the um, <laughs> forces of inside were here. Okay, so DC, it's your turn. I want to attempt to smash Mr. Freeze here with a flurry of blows. Be a d20 roll, and you're gonna get your I think a plus five to it, either plus uh, five or plus six, one of the two. First one's a 19, that's with the plus five. Ooh, you guys are like tearing through this all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, you are. Uh, wait, Mr. Freeze, what how much of a defensive bonus you get? A, that's a 19 plus five, so a 24. No, 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 that uh, if my bonus is a plus five, it's a 19. I think it's a, I think it's a five. Okay. You hit pretty badly, then, actually. 2d20. Right. 2d, um, 2d6. So roll 2d6? Yep. Okay. Seven. Is that including um, minus ones for um, ones and plus ones for sixes? Oh, uh, six. So 
you get the first attack in and deal him a decent amount of damage, um, to use a target. Right. We now have um, core, main body, main body, and heat core. and the heat expulsion core. Uh, let's go after that core. So the core takes three points of damage. Has everyone made an action? Oh, Has someone uh, not made an action? I still have to do stuff, don't I? Uh, yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, okay. Has Aurora done something? Yes. Yes. yes Jeez, you did Tyler, you're forgetting yes. about. The sorry, hope. sorry. I'm just paying. I'm just trying to paint to to do a lot of things. Yeah, because now I control Max. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Uh, Snowball uh wants to grab that potato gun and stick one of his gummy bears on top of one of the potatoes, and then put the potato into the gun, and then shoot the gummy bear on top of the potato at the Grinch. <laughs> That is not how I expected that working, but okay. Well, welcome to the party. You gave me 20 rounds of potatoes and 20 gummy bears. <laughs> Guess what I'm going to be doing? Spam attack. Gummy potatoes. <laughs> We're going to have gummy bears riding the potato like it's slim pickings at the end of how I learned to love the bomb. We're going <laughs> to... <laughs> <laughs> So what am I rolling I love it. for what this? Would that be? That sounds uh, hilarious. <laughs> okay, make a roll. Doctor Strange, love the gummy bear chronicles. We're gonna. Okay, that's a twelve and whatever I would get for a modifier. I think you get up ranged weapons, right? So uh, I don't know if you get anything. Probably not. Doesn't but look does like it. But does the gummy bear get a bonus? Oh, you bet it does. There you go. You don't know what the gummy bears do yet. I don't know, but I'm thinking that it must be something pretty great if they can ride a potato. That had a lot of meanings, and none of them were appropriate. <laughs> Please and thank you. You know, you, you know, <laughs> you learned all the wrong le lessons from Veggie Tales. That's what I'm just trying to get. Oh is, my. What, 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 is the Grinch still okay? <laughs> what did you get? I got a 12. 12? Yeah. Yeah, it misses, but it hits the back wall and creates a small explosion. Oh, sweet. Santa's going to have to get this thing repaired. Future problems. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if that's everyone else's action, yeah. um, Thomas shoots a stream of blue fluff at the Grinch. It doesn't do anything other than looks adorable and makes all your hearts melt. Um, then um, Amarillo... Um, leaps out of Aurora's arms and attacks um, the core of a of Mr. Freeze's uh, mech, who got a natural run one. So do with that as you will. What did Omri get? Six. He takes his core, takes. So I'm thinking like four points of damage. Which is a very good roll. It, that core is not looking good for wear. Um, what about Max? He attempts a sonic bark, but gets a natural one against the 20 of the Grinch's defense. Natural 20. So we had a super critical. We're making roll to dodge history right here. Never happened before. It's never happened before. So what happens is that he barks, but he barks so hard his head explodes off and he dies. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> I just got Max too. He'll get repaired eventually. I'm sure Santa will keep him around. Good dark, god dog. Good guard dogs are hard to come by. Grinch and Freeze make their actions. The Grinch is going to make a double attack against Declare. Uh, it's DC, DC again. Yeah, DC. Um, there it is. Um, Sorry, my brain. Rolling again. Um, two D20s. I need the result of each what's one. What's Freeze doing? While we're we get a plus here. four to each one. Mister Freeze goes in with a flaming punch at um. Flaming. Yes, a flaming punch. Um. I see. Yes. Well. It's flaming. It's actually flaming. Why? Why? It's his ability. Okay. He's Mr. Freeze. You're not making any sense. But whatever. Well, he has a heat expulsion core. That heat goes somewhere. Oh. Okay. Whatever. I like well, he, he makes a flaming punch attack at the unicorn snowball, which is a D20. DC, what'd you get? I got a one and then a nineteen. First shot, like batters him around a lot because it's claws. And deals him four points of damage, four fifths of a wound. Then the second attack is blocked by a shell. All right. What did you get? Oh, I rolled an eleven. So you get hit with a flaming punch and take <laughs> three no, points. No, no, no. 
It's a three. Punch oh, are you ro- are you rolling for the enemies? Yes. Oh, you could have told me that. I'm yeah. trying to speed things along. I'm making it go slower. Nothing out. You d- nimbly dodge out of the way. Back to you. Perfect. Uh, obviously, uh, Slim Pickens Gummy Bear. Uh, <laughs> we're loading that potato gun up again and throwing another. Uh, Go for a ride. And uh, aiming it Go at the Grinch. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. Twelve. I love that again? number. I love that number. Oh, uh, you miss. Oh, you create another small explosion. You're frying electrons <laughs> left and right. Well, I'm saving Santa a lot of money on interior decorating. <laughs> well. Keep trying to hit the the core on Mr. Freeze here. Okay. So another flurry of blows? Uh, yeah, we might as well. Uh, I, I rolled a 20. <laughs> okay. So roll 2d6. 5 and 4, 9. So his core explodes in a fiery blast of light and deals some damage to his claw arm. Why is there so much bacon? <laughs> <laughs> I think the better question bacon, is, bacon. why is there not more bacon? Oh, no, wait. He doesn't, he doesn't just it, uh, damage the claw arm. It destroys the claw arm. Oh, even better. Nice. The only thing left is the main body. Yeah, that's right. So, I'm still not understanding how you're using a potato cum. Say what? I have disabled device. Do you want to try and disable him? Oh. Yeah. You leap toward Mr. Freeze, and you use disabled device. How much of a bonus do you get on that? A plus four, right? Plus three. Yeah. Plus three. Oh. I got a 19. With or without the bonus? Without. Mr. Freeze's machine suddenly shuts down and is now, like, not running anymore. He's out of the fight because he now no longer has a device that's working. So it's just you and the Grinch now. Thomas um, shoots more blue, f- blue fluff at the Grinch. This time, it really does some serious damage. It's, it was a 19th for Thomas to a 1 for the Grinch. Oof. And, um... Then Amarillo leaps from his perch on Mr. Freeze to the Grinch and bounces off him. <laughs> There's a little <laughs> Nice Kay. try. He takes a tumble. So the Grinch freaks out. He's about to die. He hasn't can't he can't do this. So he grabs a snowball uh, or a snow globe from his pocket and goes, I'll be back, you loud bunk. You meddling kids. I would have gone away with it too. <laughs> 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 oh, poor Mac. Oh. And then he throws the snow globe at his feet and vanishes um, into a puff of snow and water and snow globe stuff. Glass, I assume. A decent amount of glass. Yeah, well, um, whatever's in snow globes. <laughs> looking around, you can now hear a faint yelling for help now that all the commotion has ceased. But it's Where more like it? a Grunting. It's coming from underneath the main control panel, which nearly de- got destroyed. Okay, go over to the main control panel, see what's underneath. Okay. Underneath is a taut, gagged, and bound Santa Claus. Oh, hey! <laughs> Let me help you out! <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll help him out and stand him upright and everything like that. All in time. Hey. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Thank you, my friends, for helping me. We it's so good to choice. see a friendly face here at the North Pole after all these shenanigans. My elves were brainwashed by drinking bad eggnog, and all my reindeer got turned into sausage. But I think it'll be okay. I have some roosters on the, in the back. Um, I think they'll work just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Looking up no reindeer sausage? To... Just needs no one bothers to tell him that reindeer can't fly. Or roosters, <laughs> roosters can't fly. <laughs> No one bothers to tell her that roosters can't fly. I am most grateful, and for your bravery and fortitude, I would like to give you all a Christmas gift. All right. My gotta say, it was pretty cool smashing some faces, though. Anything else is just a bonus. I'm glad you have the Christmas spirit of kung fu within you. <laughs> <laughs> now here, take this. It's a bell. All right. I ring it. It makes a sound like an alarm clock. Oh, I stop it. Nothing works the way it's supposed to around here, does it? <laughs> no. Apparently not. Suddenly, Snowball begins to take on an almost ethereal form. Oh, no. I think I think there must be some young reindeer. <laughs> now I'm just thinking about reindeer sausage. Thanks for that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's so good. <laughs> Sure it is. I wouldn't know, but... 
I, I believe that my ethereal form is starting to dissipate, unfortunately. But, you know, maybe I'll return on another holiday adventure. Good, goodbye to my compatriots and to all of you lovely folks. And I imagine that uh, he's starting to glow like a disco ball at this very point. Yes. Um, yes. And he starts doing the dance from Happy Feet with all of the ghost uh, penguins that are now deceased <laughs> in the thing. And just to kind of like bring it all home, you know, that that, that lovely moment. Yeah, nice song and, and dance number at the end. Yeah. yeah. And then with sparkles and beauty and light everywhere, suddenly Snowball wakes up and realizes it was all just a dream. Oh, mummy. I had the weirdest dream. I don't know. Or was it? Keep... it? What was it? Oh, well, I suppose that that's a really long story, and I do have to get off to grammar class, so maybe I'll tell you later? Excuse me, I can't speak. All right, dear. Can I have more of these books? These are, these of course. Are, these are terrific books. Of course, dear. And you know what I think? I think when I grow up, I want, to, I want to be a detective. That's, that's very nice, dear. Now eat your oats so you can get to grammar class. That sounds absolutely lovely. This is the most idyllic unicorn house ever. He goes off to eat his oats happily. And there our story ends. Join us next time when our party saves it's so much reindeer sausage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to find every link for reindeer sausage at this point. <laughs> to... <laughs> when You'd our be surprised intre- how many there are. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really not. Okay. Reindeer sausage is really good, actually. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> there our story ends, but join us next time when our intrepid heroes save the tooth fairy. Oh, God. <laughs> or the Easter Bunny. Or whatever my insider character happens to be next. <laughs> whatever seasonal character happens to arrive. Oh. I'm afraid that's all I have for you tonight. Hey, that's... Do y'all... <laughs> that's great. Oh, okay. <sighs> oh, well, um, yeah, no, that that's awesome. Um... I want to uh, just thank uh, James, uh, Tyler, uh, for putting in just so much work and, you know, getting this whole thing together. Uh, I know it was a tremendous amount of work to do uh, to, to, you know, humor my ridiculous ideas of doing one shot. <laughs> it's, it's... Oh, we went above and beyond. There's stuff that we didn't even get to. So, oh, you know what? Save, like, it, save um... it for the next thing. Yeah, you bet. Yeah, we were. You well. repurposed. Yeah. Absolutely. Perfect. Yeah. No, uh, uh, thank you so much, and uh, thank you for introducing us to, to Roll to Dodge as well. Uh, and uh, hopefully we've given you all new kinds of ideas for the system. Oh, too many. Like, Way uh, <laughs> you, too many. You, you, never, you never imagined uh, a gummy bear would ride a potato, but, you know, true believers. Bacon always... mints are definitely going to be part of my next... Okay. Perfect. Yeah. If you ever have like uh, you know, a, an equipment list, bacon always mints. bacon mints. Gonna be on there. Yeah. Bestiary. Yeah. <laughs> it, go- it goes with everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it really does. Oh my goodness. Um and uh I also uh while I'm here, I wanna uh thank DC for uh humoring me as well. You always seem to, and I don't know why, but I always appreciate when you come by. <laughs> no problem. Love being here. <laughs> Yeah, we love having you. And uh, Butterfly, thank you for coming on and uh, for, you know, uh, gracing us with your uh, presence. I I know this was really the first time that you've done something like this, but I really enjoyed having you, and you're welcome back anytime. I enjoyed it. Thank you. I had a great time. Uh, And I think that is where our stream actually ends. Want to wish everybody at uh, Delve a Merry Christmas and uh, a fantastic Festivus. And uh, what else is going on? Uh, New Year's, New Year's is coming up pretty fast. New, New Year's, Year's? Uh, 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 neat New Year's, Happy New Year. Did they just say Happy <laughs> New Year? I guess I think Neat New Year sounds better. Though. Yeah, Nouveau New Year. I think that that actually works better in practice. Anyway, mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, all right, everyone, you have a wonderful night. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much to everybody who came in. 
and uh, who participated and uh, who worked so hard on this. And uh, we will see everybody next time. Bye. Bye bye. And so the party rescues Santa. A smelly green figure has his plans thwarted. Snowball gains new determination to become a great detective. Aurora charms a robot dog shortly before its head explodes. Luth receives an alarming new gift that proves it truly is the thought that counts. Gummy bears explode much like fireworks on New Year's Eve. Stuffed animals continue to be adorable. And yes, Virginia, there is a bacon air freshener. It does exist. Special thanks to James and Tyler Braffin for their work on Roll to Dodge and their hard work putting this story together. Also, thanks to DC Lasserre and Book Butterfly for playing in a game while I am present. Such is a badge of honor as many are now aware. Additional thanks go to the creators of Bacon Mints, Bacon Soap, and Bacon Soda for daring to dream. And of course, thank you to our sponsors on Patreon, especially our shiny level patrons Bonnie Ainsworth and Dominic Perry. To stay informed on everything Delve related, follow us on Facebook and on Twitter at Delve Podcast. When our show returns, it will be in a non-Master Delve fashion with episodes of a more familiar nature. So as this version of Citanium may never resurface, let me just say, Purple Monkey Dishwasher. Oh wait, it's a British accent, let's utilize it. Aluminium Crumpet Lorry. And to all a good night. <laughs>